What's up everybody? Okay, I've been playing Tereba for a few weeks now and really haven't had any issues, but a couple days ago I had to dispute one of the prizes. I thought I won it. It was on the corner of the prize chute. I go to play it and then it ends up in the prize chute, but they told me that I didn't win it. Apparently there's a couple of stipulations to winning a prize that I wasn't aware of. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if it's happened to you or if you've had a similar experience. And more importantly, let me know if you think this win should count. So let's take a look at the plays now. So this setup's pretty simple. We got the prize chute on the left hand side in the front. We got a big play field with all the balls and two plushes in it. And the key to this setup is the two plushes. You cannot win this one without both of them in there. You need to use one of them as a ramp or a bumper and then you go for the other one. So I noticed that the blue one was in a pretty good spot to be used as the bumper. And then I would grab the orange one in the back and it would hit near the head because of where the catcher drops. The catcher drops the prize, let's see, right around here. And the prize chute is right here. It does drop it a little bit right of the prize chute, so you need to use that blue plush as a bumper. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go for the back plush and lift it up all the way. Another key thing is to lift it up all the way over the blue plush. I need to clear the entire head or else it's just gonna push the blue plush closer to the camera. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get a good center. And actually, I wanted to get under the head of the blue plush. I know you can't really see with this angle, but I wanted to get under the head with the right claw. So I even went a little bit more right than I should have. And on the way down, I believe I even stabbed it. Kind of perfect, because when you stab it on that left or pretty close to that left side, you really get a good grab underneath the head on the right. Oh yeah, another thing I noticed is that if you go straight for the blue plush, Basically, it's just going to drop it right where you see it right now. So, I'm going to go for that back one, and I wanted to go a little bit beyond center line of that back plush. I had, didn't end up doing that, and that's the reason I didn't win it. But if I would have went, honestly, a half inch to an inch back further, when it was in the air, it would have tilted a little bit further forward, and it would have went into the prize chute. So we're going to watch what happens here. It's going to go over the head of the other plush, and then... Right there, you're gonna see it shift back. It shifted back, and when it hit the prize chute right there, it went backwards instead of forward. You see that? That's not what I wanted. If it would have done that slight shift forward instead of back, it would have hit the blue plush, and instead of going back into the play field, it would have went towards the camera into the prize chute. But that's how it goes. Too bad, because it was so close. Right as it hits the plexiglass there, Oh man, it had the choice to go left or right, and it went back, right into the play field. So that was the first play on this setup. I think it was the very next day, we're going to look at the play where I got cheated. So I was looking around, searching for a good catcher to play, and I found this. I know it looks like it right there, that the catcher is stuck in maybe the garment of the plush, but it's really not. It looks like it might be held there, but it is totally free. It's a little bit underneath the garment but definitely not impeded at all, especially when I moved it. You could definitely tell when I moved it that the plush was not held in the claw whatsoever, wasn't stuck, which is actually one of Tereba's rules. If you do happen to get a plush stuck inside the claw and it returns back to its original setting position, then they count that as a win. I know this for sure because a few days later, I ended up doing it myself. And I ended up having to dispute this play they told me that I wasn't able to win it because the person in front of me got it stuck in the claw. Let's see what you guys think. I do not agree with that whatsoever. I don't think it was stuck in the claw. We're going to see on my first movement right here. I could have ruined it. Honestly, it wasn't over the prize chute because it wouldn't even be on the prize chute on the plexiglass if it weren't for the plush on the right hand side. That cat is holding it up and if it wasn't, it would be right next to it in the play field on the balls. So I didn't want to go back in the play, and I knew if I could get the catcher behind the plush and get the catcher back to its position, that it might be able to pull it in. And that's only because the plush is higher up than the catcher, than the bottom of the catcher arms. It's actually higher. So what I wanted to do was go behind the plush. Actually, I wanted to stab it. I wanted to get the left claw to possibly push it a little bit further towards the prize chute, but that's not what ended up happening. It ended up basically stabbing near the tail and then pulling it over to that left side. Watch it. It dropped. It got held there, kind of near the booty of the plush. And then, watch this. Right at this second, 
it gets hit by this arm and pulled directly over to the prize chute. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get the catcher behind the plush. That way, when it goes to reset at its original position, which is directly over the prize chute, it would hit the plush. It would hit the tail and probably drag it in, which is basically what it did. But I also forgot it was going to go back to the drop spot first. So right there, it went to the drop spot and just flung it in. It threw it directly in. I didn't even have to worry about it going back to the original position like I thought. But if it was right here in this spot, still would have won it. Watch. It would have came back right there to its original position and the plush would have been with it. It was stuck on that left claw and that's just how the cookie crumbles, guys. I was able to get it in one play, but it's not a win. They did not count it. I had to send them like five emails to get a response. I just wanted to know why I wasn't the winner of the prize because as far as I was concerned, it looked like a win to me. They explained that I guess they just considered the person in front of me that played it to be stuck in the claw and they counted it as a win. It kind of stinks. I mean, it looked like a win to me, but at very least they did refund the points that I used to play. So big shout out to Tereba. The only thing I really can't account for is two plays before I got it. Maybe they got it stuck in the claw and then tried to readjust and just left it where I found it. Let me know if you think this is a win, and let me know if you've had any problems with Tereba or have had to dispute any prizes. I wanna give a big shout out to the supporter who got the Agretzko face from my eBay store. You guys are keeping these videos coming. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. If you wanna help support the channel by buying some of the prizes, check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.